here by the wire. Two, and I'll try this one with the salt water. It's raining out right now, so I'm here sitting in the woodshed. I've been trying a few different things since that last video. I took down that 8 gauge conductor. It just it just wasn't any benefit to it. The smaller wire that I had strung up was doing just as good, which really didn't make much sense to me. I thought the heavier conductor would conduct a heavier current, but it seems like there's only a limited amount in the space that can be conducted away. And I do have to make a correction about that smaller wire. I said it was 30 gauge, but it's actually 20 gauge when I found the label. So I made a mistake about that. And since then, I actually strung up another run of wire, which was 32 gauge. So I have a 20 gauge wire strung out and a 32 gauge wire strung out. To get a visual of the wire sizes, I have them set up here. This is that 8 gauge wire. This is what I just took down. It is 8 gauge, and this is the other wire, the smaller wire that I had strung up in that other video and was testing. So you can see the comparison with these two wires. And now I just strung up another wire, and this is 32 gauge wire. And this is just hair thin wire. You get a hold of it, it's hard, sometimes it's even hard to see. Maybe you can see it right there. But, so I have this wire strung up and a run of this smaller wire strung up. And that's just hair thin. I'll test the voltage on the 32 gauge wire first. It's about 2-3 inches below the 20 gauge wire. Yeah, 1,314 volts. Okay. Now I'll test out the... ...20 gauge wire. One thousand three hundred sixty-seven, sixty-six. Now I'm going to do a little test with sodium bicarbonate, and this is just a piece of lead. So first I'll hold the lead up in the air by itself, probably about antenna high. Eighty-four volts. I'll drop it down in there. Raise the whole glass up there. And... fifty-four. So I think the ions in the jar are doing something. Uh, the wires are about 15 inches apart, 32 gauge wire on the right, 20 gauge on the left. 32 gauge with the 20 gauge shorted is 1058. Without the other one shorted it rises up to 1345. Um, together, combined voltages of both of them, and I will short out the, well that's the 20 gauge by itself, shorting out the 32 gauge, and around about a thousand.
And this is the current with a 32 gauge wire diodes in series, big light on. Combined current. And I will take away the little one. <coughs> and when we combine them together the way they are, it is just about doubling the they're adding up. And I'm back out here with two jars of different electrolytes this time. We got the vinegar here and salt water concentration here. And we'll take some readings again to see if there's a difference between the vinegar in the uh, salt water. First we'll take a reading with just the mesh. Yeah, right up around. Just holding it up here by the wire. To anywhere right in there. Okay now I'll try this one with the salt water. It went up to about 155, 150 volts. Moving it away from the wire, towards the wire. Up and down a little bit. Okay. Now I'll do the same thing with the vinegar, see if there's any difference. This piece of mesh wire lap is the same size as that one. And yeah, we're getting right around the same thing, same position. Try that one in vinegar, see if that one was any better. Up. No, not any better. Moving it around a little bit. The brine solution might have been a little bit better, or maybe not. The wind makes a big difference, I noticed. I think it's pretty similar. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty similar. I don't think the electrolyte makes that much a difference. The next thing I want to try to see if there's any improvement with a container of electrolyte is to test the current. I have this set at uh, milliamps or microamps. It's microamps. And I can use this meter as long as the voltage is below a thousand. I won't break anything. And first I'll just take the mesh and hold it up there to see what we're getting without anything. So 5.4 microamps. I'm just holding it right there. Hope that glare is kind of bad. So I will try putting an electrolyte now. Let's see if that improves anything. And it did. It went up some. Quite double it, but it went up.
wind is blowing. I think when the wind blows, it makes a difference. It looks like it's going up. Well, it looks like the jars with electrolyte in it and a wire can harvest more power than just the wire alone. I think maybe it's because it's more volume or more surface area, not because it's a better conductor, it's not. That just has something to do with the amount of space it takes up, I think. But anyway, I've become more fascinated with this now that I see that other materials are showing good potential. So I'll keep experimenting and posting new findings as they come along. So just check in later and thanks for watching.